This is exactly what won Brian Harmon the 2023 Open Championship. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson. Welcome back to Get Good at Golf. Guys, before we get started, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. If you want to do just that, get good at golf and potentially lower your handicap. So Brian Harmon putted excellently well all throughout the week. In fact, I saw this putt on the 18th hole on Friday which was for his Eagle 2 to take the five shot lead into the weekend. He put it exceptionally well, but what I think he did really well is he hit shots flag high and didn't mind missing a green. So, so often on Lynx Golf, you would see people play bump and run shots. You'd see little seven iron chips. You'd see hybrid chips. You see the ball not really leaving the, leaving the ground, should I say, and getting in the air. But what Brian Harmon did well is he thought, you know what? I'm actually really good with my sand wedge. So what he was doing, was chipping with his sand wedge and making sure that he was getting up and down and this is something that you guys can learn so much guys find a shot in your arsenal that you're happy with get really good at it get good at golf and then stick with it and just keep honing that no matter where you're playing no matter who you're playing against and no matter what the conditions are like so what i'm doing here is i'm using my 56 degree which i'm really really happy with which is one of my favorite clubs in my bag used to be the 60 but not anymore and I'm just opening it up to make sure I'm utilizing the bounce underneath that golf ball so if I do this correctly you'll see that that ball comes out very very consistently every time and you see all I'm really doing here is making sure that a I use the club correctly through the turf or even just on the turf if you are on the fairway like we are here and also making sure that dynamically I return this club with the same loft every time if I've got three golf balls here and I try and chip to this first flag this is severely downhill so I would expect it to run out and release a little bit if I play the first shot where I give you a really high dynamic loft you can see that pops up in the air stops fairly quickly and does okay if I then return this club with a low dynamic loft but hit it exactly the same speed you can see that ball then releases out a lot further and that's now rolling to kind of 30, 40 feet, a putt you wouldn't really hope to have. So generally all I'm wanting to make sure I do here is either know exactly what dynamic loft I'm trying to produce so I know how the ball's going to react when it lands. That's your difference between being three foot away or 30 foot away, but also making sure that I'm consistently giving that dynamic loft. And Chris is going to give us a really good drill to do here. And this is something which if you did watch Brian Harmon at the weekend, whether you like him, whether you love him, whether you hate him, he did this exceptionally well. And it could really help you win your club championship, win your junior open, win whatever is the biggest tournament you have coming up. Obviously for those guys, it was the open championship. And for me, if I can get good at this and you can get good at this, we can all get good at golf. Ooh. So, as always, fantastic points there from James. So, yes, we need something now to control your dynamic loft. So, one big thing that's missed out in short game is obviously releasing the club head and turning your body. So, a lot of people start to think, right, well, if I want it to come high and play a high soft one, I really need to get my hands involved. If I want to play the low one, I've really got to take my hands out. And I've just got to start cover driving that, holding the loft off. We start to get all sorts of different launch conditions so if i go for this one here on the right we can start to think about right what kind of flight do i want again here i'm going to think about doing exactly like brian harman i'm still going to play a, a higher flighted one i'm going to probably land most of the way there but i'm going to do it with one hand so if you're a right-handed golfer we're going to go right hand only and i'm just going to use my left hand to hold my right arm to the chest you'll see here we'll get some feedback of where the club is catching the ground so if i just over use my hands and wrists and i don't turn my body we're going to start to see that shot which most golfers probably do fear when they're around the edge of the greens i know everybody will be saying well yeah but i would use a putter from there but we're just pretending and we're just showing you what brian Harmon did we want to get confidence like james said we want to have a shot in your arsenal that is going to be repeatable that's going to be one that you can go to you don't get here and tense up and start to get really quick but by doing this left-handed drill, we really have to get that timing together. So I have to make sure that I'm turning, releasing that club nicely to get that to launch exactly as I want. So there, nice interaction with the ground. That launched and landed where I wanted it to. I just didn't have enough backswing for that shot. But again, even if I don't use my wrist, that's when we're going to start to see the dreaded shot to the right for the right-handed golfer. If I start to lead really quick with my wrists, you can see I've played a nice soft fade 
over there onto the right hand side of the green and I'm chipping again that's in trouble that's having to play another shot. You see shot. people just kind of fence around the green don't you around the right hand side like a clock. Yeah, just start to walk around so really start to understand where your low point is and your low point is controlled by your release so your release and the movement of your body is going to allow you to control the trajectory that's going to then allow you to control the spin because we're going to generate a better strike so get down on the side of your chipping green if you're a right-handed golfer, right hand only, really start to work that. A couple of practice swings, club finishing and staying in front of you. And if we do that, we're going to be able to help you control your launch and get good at golf.